Welcome back to the Order of Dragons to another Conqueror's Blade update video. And today this video is going to be talking about the dailies in the game, the weekly quests, as well as the Fief overview. So let's go ahead and talk about the dailies. On the dailies, if you press O, you can check in. You can do your little daily sign-in. They give you like specific like little individual like um, things every single day. Um, as you can see, it says uh, right here, if you hover over it, small bag of bronze coins and speaking trumpets. And it's just bit, um, they give you like different things for those specific days. Um, I don't know if they're going to give like some sort of weird event items um, later on. If um, later on when new seasons come out, they'll be pretty cool if they do that. So let's go ahead and click sign in here. So I've got that and it'll send me small bag of bronze coins, as it says. And if you go, uh, click I right here, we have our small bag of coins and then. All bag of browns coins right there and a couple of other things we currently have um but that's it for the daily sign in there is daily quests um that's been in the game for since the siege quests um from this guy you have uh daily victory um daily three battles and daily five battles and those are the normal daily quests that you can do you get um house xp and prestige um i'm gonna go into a little bit more in depth on the house 6p and the prestige later on but let's go ahead and head press um l we press l here you can check here um all your quests and all that stuff but if you click on weekly quests this is an extremely important thing as it gives you um the more weekly quests you um, it gives you the more the more rewards you'll get, as well as um, one of my other Conquer's Blade updates videos. I was talking about the skeleton keys. So um, I'm going to say it again: the skeleton keys are keys that you can use to open vaults um, that you can rarely get uh, at an end of a mission. When you use the uh, when you get a vault, you use the vault key, but the vault. Um, vault gives you resources and silver and it's nothing nothing much it can give you equipment i believe but it doesn't really give you much but if you look at here if you do the all your weekly quests they'll give you um a pages test with bronze and honor um it gives you um more bronze more honor and another vault key same again more bronze honor two vault keys and a skill page um, chest this is if you do, you get a skill page that you can use to um, go to you here, go to not you, uh, P, and you go to skills. This is what you use the skill page chest for stuff, but it's a random skill page. It is not um, one for your class. Um, what, the first one I opened, it gave me um, this one, the dual blade skill page. Um, so you get use you pre you do the weekly quest to get your skill pages as well as it gives this one gives you two skill page tests. So once you do all of them, you'll be able to get all your skill pages. This is how you get the skill pages and everything like that. I believe you have a chance, a very rare chance of getting a skill page from doing normal battles as plus getting vaults. So that's pretty cool. basically doing all that will give you pages that you need. Um, but the the loyalty, valor, leadership, and firepower. It's just a little bit of a difference. I'm just talking about, let's see, deploy seven siege weapons or artillery in battle. Um, you can get these done by just um, equip, basically attack, using one in one of the normal battles. If you're doing siege battles, if you press J and you go to siege battle, you're able to um, um, be able to use the place siege equipment that's already on the ground. And you'll be able to get that quest done. Or you could also place it yourself. Um, then there's the kill 50 enemies using artillery. So yeah, you just use the artillery that's already placed on the siege equipment, um, on the siege battles, on the normal battles, and you'll be able to get that quest done pretty quickly. Let me head over to the leadership. Um, leadership is telling us we need to do our um, expeditions, which is the PvP uh, missions. The PvP missions, expeditions don't give much at all. Um, but there is uh, quite a few that it asks you to do, but they give you quite a few war points. So all doing all these is going to give you quite a few war points and to be able to get all of your stuff done as you can see that. Um, but, oh, talking about the skeleton keys, to get the ones down below here, you have to be, it'll give you extra two skeleton keys. Um, you, can, um, you can only use 15 skeleton keys, I believe, a week. 
And they, that's, yeah. Uh, 15 vault. you can only open up 15 vaults a week. Um, as you can see, there's expeditions. Um, the expeditions are pretty easy, as you can see here. The first one is just, um, they're, they're pretty damn easy. Um, it doesn't take that long to get certain of them done. Some of them take quite a while to get done, but some of them don't take a while to get done. But they don't really give as many resources. I think the expeditions are really just for uh, getting the um, these weekly quests done to get all your skill page and as well as get XP and prestige for your house, as you can see right here. Um, the higher Expedition 2 and Expedition 3 are um, more difficult than Expedition 1. They have more enemies as well as higher tier units and all that stuff. Um, the rebel camps, rebel camps are on outside in the outside world. As you can see, rebel fighter, you have to defeat rep four rebel camps every week. Um, currently, rebel camps are not respawning in, so they're kind of bugged. And there's everybody; they have a limit on them. So easy and medium rebel camps, um, they have as well hard to have a account on it. So if someone, if Five groups of denim it would disappear and they've kind of i guess they're bugged out where they just don't respawn in time they said they do spawn respawn but it's like an extremely exaggerated time um hopefully they fix that they really need to fix that um easy is pretty easy to do same as the easy expeditions like i said um the hard ones the hard ones you tier four units um tier four star units and they're very diff quite difficult so it requires um a full party to do them effectively um all the these the rebels the mediums and the hard rebel camps they drop um like gear and stuff like that so and maybe skill pages and stuff like that so let's go ahead and click on the valor here the valor um the valor is just killing certain amount of heroes or units and pvp battles or any other battle um as you can see 74 out of 75 kill swordfin in a battle it's any battle it can be those pve battles so that's really good so if you go to join a battle that you know there's a lot of cavalry and you focus on killing all the cavalry you can done and then it says kill a short bow hero all this can be done in um short bow hero you go and you have to find one of the female sh uh, female archers and kill Kill the female archer players and kill her, and you'll be able to get this done. Same as the the poleaxe, find the the male specific poleaxe and kill them two times. So it's it's not that difficult. Just do a lot of the battles and think about okay, I need to focus on these cavalry or something like that. Cavalry, a lot of people don't really use cavalry, so I I would suggest go joining a PVE battle that uses cavalry a lot. Um, so let's go ahead and click on loyalty. Loyalty, as you can see, is territory wars, basically helping out your house, doing all that stuff. Um, this is territory battles, so like you join, participate in a battle and stuff like that. Um, fight again twice on the open world against a player, so this is just randomly engaging on a random player outside. Um, that's pretty easy to do that if you go find a player that's not in a house or one of your enemy houses, or let's say you you ask someone if you want to go duel or something or fight or something, go do that. And then it's sign in on consecutive days, so six days. So in that week, you'll be able to sign in six days gives you all that stuff um and then there's the win five matched battles which normal daily battle so that's all about the uh weekly quest i don't know if they changed i never really looked at it to really think if they've changed every week but it'd be pretty cool if it like changes up every week to do um so let's go ahead and the really the most important thing for um houses is getting your um your yeah, the most important thing is getting your weekly quest done as well as doing your thief quests. So we head over here to the warden. The warden is can be is in any town, any fortress, or any city um, that you can go to. And when you talk to him, you can just click on thief overview. And if you look on the overview here, it shows what the level is. It shows up what the building materials is, how you can upgrade your thief, and the owner's tribute, and the, how much silver and the, is in the treasury, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It shows the local resource. So all this building materials um, that you get is by doing the thief quest. When you do these thief quests, um, you're able to see, if you look on here, total progress, this is how many this quest has been done, I believe. Um, when, um, that, when you do this, how many of that done, it will disappear. So if like 50, everybody in your house 
does all these quests, it'll disappear and change into something different, I believe. So um, make sure you get everybody to do them. It's pretty pretty simple. Suppress the rebels. Um, supply with Dignite. Specific resources that you can get out in the field. As you can see, this is a, a tier, tier 2 resource. You can get... Um, that's tier 3. Uh, I think there's common, uncommon, rare, um, an extra rare or something like that. So you have um, white, um, white, green, yeah, white, green, blue, purple. White, green, blue, purple. So you have four different types you can get, and they just tell you all that stuff. But they give you as well um, house XP as well as house prestige, and they give you building materials. And what these building materials do is that they they allow you to upgrade your your fief. I believe the upgrading the fief will allow the um um will allow you to ha maybe have more defenses in the town when you go to battle or something like that. Or it comes to a point in time where once you upgrade it to level 10, it will go upgrade into a city maybe. So that'll be pretty cool if they I if that is. Um if you click on in and go to your house thing if you go to your level scene right here because it, it talks about maximum attackable village is level 10 so that's that's what i'm thinking is that once your village reaches level 10 you're able to get to level one city level and then after that city level it probably can go to port level who knows um so that'll be pretty damn cool um if it, that's designed but we haven't got that far but talking about doing the fee quests Suppressing the rebels currently, it is very difficult to suppress the rebels because the rebels don't respawn. Like I said, they're like the rebel out outposts don't respawn. The rebels don't respawn, and the only rebels that there is left are rebels that are bugged in glitched in places where you cannot reach them. Some are in lakes, um, stuck on the mountains. Some are glitched in the ground, and some are in the air or whatever. So it's quite quite difficult to get these rebel things done. So hopefully they um, get this fixed so that we can get that done. If we look at the uh, Thief Treasury, this is all what it's telling us is that this is all the taxes. Um, it's just a little info log of all the taxes and stuff like that. I, I do not know how to get the silver and stuff or any of these items out of there. I'll have to look more and update you guys in another update video once i figure that out but that is pretty much it for um, the thief quests and the treasury uh, there's one thing that i should talk about is called the message that you can post on the town but it requires a scribble service i do not know where you can apparently you can get it from the market um but it's not on the market or anything like that. Or there's an other section. So if I can go to the feed again, go to message board and go to other. Um, can't be purchased. Can be purchased. In Apparently I can purchase it. But I don't know exactly where you can purchase it. But like I said, that's uh, pretty much it for doing your the thief quest. We talk about the thief quests, the overview, the dailies, and the weekly quest. Um, so let me go ahead and go in a little bit more in depth on your prestige. Um, the house XP, um, to get level up your house, the main important thing is getting all those dailies, your thief quest, and your weekly quests, and doing rebels, I believe, um, the rebel outpost. So all these will give you prestige and house XP. Doing all these will um, upgrade the house. So you don't, as a player, you don't have to go out. You can, okay, you can be the best of the house and go out and do every single little thing and get every ounce of XP for the house you can do. And make this like the extremely main game of Super Life. But you don't have to, have to have to do everything. Because there's multiple options you can decide. What do I want to do? What Do I want to do the stick with me doing the thief quest? Do I want to do the, the dailies? Do I want to do the weekly quest? Because when you're doing the dailies, you're going to get some of the weekly quests done as well. And when you do the thief quest... The, the thief quest, you're going to get some of the weekly quests done as well. So everything you do, you're going to get some of the weekly quests done. But you have a multiple choice of what do I want to do. You don't have to do everything. 
you can, but you don't have to. So that's pretty cool. So make sure the to get prestige uh, and house XP to level up your house because it increases the um, the chance to it, it increases the house level. Um, again, the house levels are kind of broken right now. They they say they have a XP limit, but people are daily XP limit, but they're going over the XP limit. Um, we were level two like yesterday, and now we're level five. And you're only supposed to be given. Um, I remember the very beginning was 20,000 daily XP to get to level two. And it was like 40,000 XP to get to level two. But there's a daily limit of 20,000. So it was broken. The daily XP limit is very broken. But somehow also, we are getting more XP than what it shows. That's so pretty strange. Um, so yeah, so like the prestige is what you use to declare war on certain level of towns um, and cities. The more, like there's a town, the towns require less, which is 200. And then if it's a city, it requires more and the uh, fort and all that stuff requires more and stuff like that. So make sure you do all your weekly quests, your thief quests and your dailies, and you'll be able to get enough prestige to go out and declare mass war to every single person on the planet. But like I said, and again, you don't have to do every single Stick what you like to do. Don't force yourself to do all this stuff because it can be quite boring. Just do your dailies, hop in every once in a while, take it casually, and have some fun. So, um, as always, uh, we are recruiting. So, dis the Discord is going to be down in the description. And, again, thank you guys for stopping by. And I'll see you guys in the next Conker's Blade update video.